So the top half of the plug is switched and you can have a lamp to plug in there and then the bottom half will be constantly hot and that's where you would want to uh, plug in your alarm clock because you don't want that clock going off every time you turn the lights out otherwise you'll be late for work. So let's see if we can get you to work on time here with this. We have from our panel now, we still need one more wire to get over here, so again, we're going to use a three-wire conductor. So a red wire is the only wire we have left. Let's add some more. Let's say we wanted another one. We could do that. Let's put our plug in here. Okay, the neutral is the easy part. The neutral just pigtails here and goes up again. If this is going to be half-switched, again, we have to break the tab. And so, there's something we must do in order to allow the top half of the plug to be switched and the bottom half to be constantly hot. So we need to take a closer look at the plug. We see the plug here. On the side of the plug, there's two screws and there's this little clip in between, this tab that connects those two screws. So what I'm going to do is take some needle nose pliers and I'm just going to break that tab off, try and do it here. So you can still see. And you can see now, I've got, there's no uh, tab in between there, so these two screws are not connected anymore. So a wire that lands on the top part will not energize the bottom half. Now we do nothing to the neutral side. There's also a tab.